Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. On this hashtag Transformation Tuesday, we have a master of mayhem in the house, an M-O-M, Christy Glover. Thank you so much for being with us today. Absolutely. So tell us all about your book. Oh, this book is actually 12 years in the making. I gave my first M-O-M, Master Organizer of Mayhem Talk, 12 years ago at a mom's group, and it was the response from the moms that got me and made me want to pursue helping moms everywhere to just feel more grace in their home. And especially now that we have social media, we've got mm. Pinterest, we've got you know Instagram, and we have beautiful shows on HDTV. I love those shows, but they make you feel like your house has to be perfect. And it's really hard for moms, especially in some seasons, to feel like they have any semblance of order. So right, that's, I think that's all four seasons. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh yes. The entire year. Well, yeah. It's, all day long. It's yeah. so interesting though because it used to be keeping up with the Joneses, right? And being concerned with your neighbor or the woman across the street. Now you're keeping up with the entire world yes. and making sure your home looks Instagrammable and Pinterest perfect yeah. all of the time. Yes, it's tough. And it's a pressure that we put on ourselves. And I think especially with moms, when you have new babies, I mean, I'm, you just let the laundry sit there for a little bit. It's going to be there. Yeah, don't worry. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I really tried to take a look at, you know, how can we be more efficient in our home? And that's my passion is I'm trying to help families be more efficient. So do you need to get out the door? What do we need to do to get you out the door? And, you know, I have, I actually have five kids. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. Wow. But yeah, five. Five. Whole hands. It's like 10 full-time jobs. And you're still <laughs> smiling. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, five kids, and we should throw in there that my husband's traveled for 20 years. Uh, we homeschool, so we have a lot happening in our home. Mm -hmm. And so for us, it was taking a look at, you know, what can we do? What, what do we need to have order? Like, where do we need order? So I encourage people, one of my little tips in the book is to glean and tweak. So you need to look at what other people are doing well and then tweak it to fit your own family because everyone's family is different. And so, you know, I have five kids, so I've got teenagers down to a six-year-old. Um, so that's a very different dynamic mm -hmm. and then people who just have little toddlers. So I'm able to get more done at this time of my life than I would have been when we just had all little tiny kids. Uh, so I love that. So what, what kinds at. of, can you give us a couple of examples in yeah. terms of what things people might glean and tweak? Yes. Yeah. Well, it could be anything from even laundry. Uh, so when I first, when my older two are only 17 months apart and they're both boys. So what I was noticing is that laundry was taking me forever because oh. not only are you washing it and drying it, then you're folding it and I'm looking at labels and I'm trying to figure out whose pants are whose and it was just taking forever. So one little thing that I did is I just gave them separate hampers. So little tiny tweaks like that are the type of things that I've figured out through the years that yes. make my life easier and have started making other people's lives easier as yes. well. So, I mean, to be more efficient in, you know, things like laundry and feeding people, I have a whole binder that's just easy meals. Mm -hmm. So those nights when I'm like, I don't know what to answer when they ask me, what's for dinner? I'm like, yeah. food. Yeah. I thought so, of, I thought easy yeah. meals were like happy meals. <laughs> well, but, well, that is that's an easy meal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but no, just keeping things on hand that are easy to make. So those are some of the, the ways that I've tried to help people bring a little joy into their home. I read this book eons ago about smart women finish rich. And one of the things Ooh. they talked about was that if in your family, mm -hmm. that it, if you can make if you make more than $10 an hour, it behooves you to pay someone to do the chores yes, that you do not want to do and pay them the $10 so that you are fully invested in whatever mm -hmm. your children is doing, not thinking about, oh, I, I, oh my God, I have to do that laundry. Oh right. my God, right? Or the hostility that creeps in, no matter how much we love our kids, that we still have to do and then they mess up. And then we clean and then mm -hmm. they mess up. So I started making sure I always had made Ooh. Even if it was only every other week, mm -hmm. just to do all the deep cleaning, do the linens and the towels, and it made me just that much more happy. Absolutely. And then when I was leaving stuff, it would be just a few dishes in the sink mm -hmm. instead of all the dust in the corners. Oh, I yes. love that. I love that. I know. That's actually one of the tips I give is to ask for help. And I encourage families, no matter what your budget is, you can usually find a small budget to have someone come in right. and help with some things. But I had seasons where I had to bring someone in to do our laundry because I'm like, I don't have the capacity. And so it brought me such joy to open my drawers and everything yes. was really nice and go into my kids' rooms and everything was perfect. <laughs> so. I love that you mentioned joy. Tell us a bit yes. about the podcast. 
Simply Joyful. My podcast, Simply yes. Joyful Podcast. Yes. So I've been uh, had a podcast now for two years, and it's been so fun because I actually get to do this, but in my closet with my headphones mm. <laughs> and get to interview different authors. And I've even gotten to interview some directors and it's been a lot of fun and getting to help moms really figure out where to simplify in their lives and how to find that joy. And a lot for me is as a Christian and my podcast is very faith-based is really looking at how can we, um, you know, really get real with the Lord and, and bring more joy into our lives, you know, through our relationship with the Lord. Fantastic. So. Who've been some of your favorite interviews? Ooh, Priscilla Shire was really exciting. Exciting because that she's I'm just such a huge fan of hers and she was in um, War Room uh, the oh, prayer yes. the prayer closet yes, movie yes, so yes. that was really fun and I got to interview um, the director of that film as well and um, John Irwin and I oh goodness that's a good question I I don't know I've had so I mean, I've really loved and enjoyed so many different authors that I've had yes. and I like to say that one of the fun little things is that it's a, I call it my Oprah Winfrey secret. <laughs> when you get to interview people and glean from them, I'm really just asking questions that I'm totally curious about. Like, right. where, where do I need help? And please help me. Yeah. And so it's been so fun to just glean from those different authors because they all specialize in different things and getting to learn about, you know, what do they do and, and how can I implement that in my own home? Oh. Incredible. Please tell everyone where they can find and follow you so they can get all of yes. these great tips. Well, they can follow me on christyclover.com and everything is right there. And if they go to christyclover.com slash mom book, they can find out more information about my book. And MOM comes out September 3rd. And for all the pre-orders out there, they, I actually have a fun little bonus that is training your kids to help. And so it's an audio and video bonus for families. I love it. That's what I was going to ask. I even wrote that in my little note yes. card. Training kids to help. <laughs> that's, that's worth it right there. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more on Good Morning All. And